you can count on. Eric Laughlin live in the Storm Tracker Weather Center. And Eric, it's hot out there right now, but in the near future, we could see some changes, right? Yeah, definitely so. Uh, once again, today temperatures were around 100 degrees. Very, very dry relative humidity, but uh, we are seeing that moisture come up from the southwest. Kind of a mixed bag of good news and bad news as far as the fire goes. We'll get to that in just a minute, but uh, here's what's basically ahead. That's our bunch grass lookout up in Bernie. You can see a little bit of smoke out there. We are going to see more clouds though tomorrow as that monsoonal moisture moves up and it's going to cool off slightly. Instead of being close to 100 degrees, I think we'll be in the low 90s tomorrow in the valley. That monsoonal moisture does move in though through the day tomorrow. I think tomorrow afternoon we'll start to see some thunderstorms in the area. I think tomorrow afternoon is probably the most dangerous time for the fire situation because we'll still be relatively dry and we'll see some thunderstorms start to pop up in the afternoon. But as we get into Tuesday, I think we will see more moisture in the air and that will possibly give us a shower in the valley on Tuesday morning. So we'll show you the Doppler here in just a minute. These are the highs from today. 97 for Mount Shasta City, 95 degrees in Paradise with very low relative humidities and uh, some south winds between 5 and 10 miles per hour. Chester at 87 today and Redding 105, so definitely hotter today than it was yesterday. So the monsoonal moisture, you can see it's right around uh, the Sierras, the crest of the Sierras between Tahoe and Mammoth right now. It's going to start to slowly inch our way as we go into the next 24 hours. So. I do think we'll see more clouds, more moisture increasing as we go through the next 24 hours. But once it gets here on Monday afternoon, it's still going to be relatively dry. So with those thunderstorms, that does mean the potential for some dry lightning, especially tomorrow afternoon. But you can see Monday morning, tomorrow morning around 5 a.m. We definitely have more cloud cover in the area. And then as I move into Monday afternoon around 4 o'clock, you can see the thunderstorms start to pop up. At this point, it's still relatively dry, but as we get into Tuesday, we will bring in more moisture. The relative humidities will come up, and you can see Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock, actually some uh, light rain, maybe some showers forecasted for the valley, and that could be some good news for the fire. So it's kind of a mixed bag. We'll see what happens. If we do see some rain out of this, it could be heavy downpours of rain. What we've seen in the desert southwest has been uh, two to three inches of rain in some areas. So it could be enough rain to really cause quite a downpour. It's just going to be where it is. As we get into the next uh, 24 hours, we should have a better idea though. You can see uh, we start to change things out on midweek. We'll start to clear things out on Wednesday and see more in the way of uh, triple digit heat returning. So a uh, few days of a change for sure. Uh, 98 degrees for a high tomorrow in Weaverville after a morning low of 65. French Gulch, we start out at 70, get up to 97 tomorrow with some increasing cloud cover. Mineral see a high of 84 after about 63 for a low, 64 for a low in Bernie, 94 there tomorrow and the same in Quincy with that chance for afternoon thunderstorms. So tomorrow afternoon between about 3 and 5 we'll start to see those thunderstorms pop up in the Sierras. 84 for Butte Meadows, Sterling City 83, and Miguelia at 86 tomorrow after an overnight low of 70, so a little mild there overnight. There are the uh, temperatures for the valley. We'll see more clouds, a little south breeze, 5 to 10 miles an hour, 72 for Red Bluff, and 96 degrees tomorrow, 94 in Los Molinos, and the overnight lows in the valley, close to 70 degrees, so another mild night. Although we will see more clouds tomorrow, it's going to cool it off just a little bit by about 7 degrees. We'll be at 93 in Chico tomorrow afternoon. So there's the seven day forecast. You can see we definitely cool things off with that moisture coming in. Only 86 degrees Tuesday afternoon, but then Wednesday, Thursday, right up above 100 degrees again. And Reading will be at 107 on Thursday and Friday. So yeah, some changes. Kind of a mixed bag as far as good and bad news, but hopefully we get some moisture in here on Tuesday morning that uh, maybe hits that fire zone.